Alright guys, so, over the holidays, I got sucked down the rabbit hole of QVC infomercials, and long story short, I bought some things, and we're going to test them out. Something that I have never seen before, or even heard of, in my life, that I saw in these infomercials, was this. This is the, uh, Slice. Manual utility knife. Okay, that's not that crazy. I've seen those before. What threw me off was it is a ceramic blade. So it's not metal. It's not anything like a regular knife. It's supposed to be ceramic. You can see like whenever you push this thing up, you can see it come up to the top. I've never heard of that. Ceramic, like a ceramic blade. It says it's safer than a traditional blade, and it lasts up to 11 times longer. Not 10 times longer, not a nice even 10 round number, 11 times longer. So let's open this. This thing, it really doesn't even feel that sharp, to be honest. Let's put it on the sharpness tester, see what it gets. See what we get. We got 400, ironically 420. If I remember right, 420 is like just a slightly damaged blade is like what that's comparable to. So we got 420, let's cut some boxes, cut some things, see how it cuts, and let's test it again and see how much of the edge we lose. Buy my merch. There's a link in the description. There's t-shirts, hoodies, and hats, and they're very nice. So I'm gonna cut up two boxes. I got one that's just like a regular Amazon box, and then one that is a really thick, like, well, it's the box that the, the box the flooring cutter came in from that video. This, is, this one's much thicker than a regular box. So I'm just gonna cut these up into a bunch of pieces, and then we'll see. First, let's see how it... That's, that's pretty impressive, honestly. I'm not upset with that. Uh, I've never seen or heard of or heard of a ceramic knife. It's no, I can tell that it's nowhere near as good as like a like a regular knife, but it's doing the job. Especially if you have like a backdrop. Now I wonder where they come up with that, Well, they say it was safer than a regular knife? I think this thing, I feel like this thing would slice you open if you like slipped or something. So it seems like even on this like really thick cardboard, it, it cuts just fine. Let's compare it to a, an actual, like, utility box cutter. All right, so this is a regular box cutter, brand new razor blade. Let's just cut this. It's almost so sharp, it's almost, almost made it difficult to cut. <laughs> it was like biting into it so hard. Obviously that's razor sharp. But somehow, it's easier to cut with this. Now it's not as, it's not as smooth of a cut. That's so strange. Okay, now that was smooth. Let's try this. Honestly, that's not much different. That's actually kind of crazy. Okay, so we've made all these cuts, probably 
a hundred or so cuts. Let's see how well that edge has retained itself. All right, guys, so before we go any farther, this video is sponsored by Factor. <laughs> a little warning, if your cooking skills are like mine, this is the one for you. Factory is a food delivery service that delivers fresh, never frozen meals straight to your door. And all of the Factory meals are curated by a team of culinary experts, and they only use the freshest ingredients in all the Factory meals. And all of the Factory meals are free of hormones, antibiotics, refined sugar, and GMOs. So the way that the meal plans work is that you can get from between four and 18 meals per week, depending on your specific needs. And you can easily add meals, you can take meals away, you can do whatever you need to to fit your specific needs. And if you need to, you can even skip a week. And now my favorite part, and the part that I love the most about these type of meals, is that they are easy to cook. You just take them, you just take them out of the cardboard sleeve, put them in the microwave for two minutes, and then bam, you're done. Peel the plastic off and eat it. It's simple, it's easy. I love that. And for me, in my everyday life, that is about as good as it gets. Just as anything that I can just walk to the fridge, pull it out, put it in the microwave, it's done. That's, that's absolutely perfect for me, and I'm sure it's perfect for a lot of you. And it doesn't even stop there. You can also amp up your order with things like, with add-ons like proteins, juices, energy bites, desserts, smoothies. They have a nice, I think, strawberry banana and some tropical fruit. These things are delicious. So if you're interested, you can head to factor75.com slash tylertube60. Use code tylertube60 at checkout and you will get 60% off your first factor box. And all of the links will be in the description. All right, let's see here. We started off at 420. Let's see what we have retained. Uh, 625. That's not horrible. I mean, cardboard is going to be the one thing that's going to dull, you know, anything the fastest aside from like <laughs> grinding it on a, on a wood or a rock or something. That's not horrible, I guess. I do not believe that that is going to last 11 times longer than a regular razor blade. That claim I feel like is a little bit outrageous. But overall, I feel like this thing is decent. Like, I don't really have any problems with it. It does work. It does cut. Uh, I don't know that it would be safer. I could see where it would be, could be safe, how it has like these different positions and you can kind of lock it with just this little, little piece sticking up so you could like cut into a box and not cut too deep or if you slip there's a lower chance you're going to cut yourself or something. Overall I like it. I think it's alright. And there's also, it looks like you just turn this thing and I assume there's a way to change out the blade. I guess you can buy replacement ceramic blades if it goes dull. Yeah, there's a little thing here. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's cool. So you, if this side gets dull, you can just flip it around. Kind of like a regular uh, razor blade knife. How like with these, you can put a razor blade in there and flip it around. So that's pretty cool. So you get kind of two lifes out of each one. You know what? That makes me like it a little bit more. I... I like that. That's pretty cool. I like this thing. This next one's gonna be pretty quick, but I thought it was uh, kind of cool. It's called the Easy Light Electronic Lighter. It actually says that it's a candle lighter, so I guess that's technically the only thing you're supposed to use it for, but uh, I don't have candles, so we're just gonna light some other stuff on fire. So the way it works, uh, if you've never seen an electronic lighter before, is it's got these two little prongs that stick up, you can probably hear it, that very high pitch noise. But those little prongs stick up, and then there's an, ele an electrical arc that goes across them. Buy stuff on fire. Let's pretend this paper is our candle. That actually doesn't work very well. Actually, maybe it does work decent. Yeah, there we go. We got our fire going. That's gonna be all smoky in here. Great, love that. Oh, you know what? Actually, we kind of do have a candle. This could be considered a candle, sort of. That works beautiful. 
This is like a like a camping candle, if you will. Now, just for fun, let's see if we can light. We can burn a towel. Oh, look at that. You absolutely can. Go out. All right, so, I mean, it works. So, that's pretty cool. Next up, we got two uh, screwdriver. Well, one's a, this is a screwdriver and one's kind of like a, kind of like a little drill, sort of. So first we have the works uh, power screwdriver. That comes in a really nice, I actually love the way this thing looks. It comes in a really nice stone case, has all its own little bits, charging cable, has everything you need, and a nice little case. I actually really like that. And then the second one, instructions, don't need that. Get out of here. This one is like a, I don't even know, just like a little, a little, just like a little drill to have around whenever you need a little drill to fix like cabinets or maybe like hang a picture or just like something basic, which hopefully it can do. And it's got this cool little feature where you can use it like this, or if you push this button, you can flip it this way. So it's like straight on or whatever. It's got a nice little light. But it doesn't sound very powerful. With that one, you get that. Oh, you get some bits. How nice of them. And you get a little tiny charging cable. That is a USB cable with some type of round connector. I don't know why you wouldn't use USB-C. You know, it's 2023, but what do I know? I just make YouTube videos. And that's all you I actually think I think this thing is probably going to be pretty much garbage. I actually think this one is probably going to be pretty nice. Ooh. You got your little your forward in your back. Oh, and this, no way. This thing is USB-C. Yes. No more micro USB. No more proprietary weird connector. That they probably won't be able to do, but we'll try anyway. Let's just try to take one the screw out of, the, out of this tabletop. That was no problem. I'm impressed. I did not expect this, because this is like, to me, this is something that you would use for like, just taking small stuff apart. Stuff that doesn't take a lot of torque or something. But this thing has a ton of torque. Let's try to take out another one, but with this. Oh. Okay. Okay, I stand corrected. These things actually have, this one especially actually has a, a pretty decent amount of torque. So let's uh, let's drive some screws, drill some holes, and uh, really put them to the test. So as you can see, we have ourselves a little uh, like gauntlet set up. We're gonna see what both of these can do. So we're gonna do obviously screws that get bigger as they go along. And then at the very end, I have a uh, 3 16 drill bit and we're gonna see if they can drill Holes. We'll start with this one. That was that was flawless. I like that a lot. Almost identical. I am so impressed with the power of that thing. Again, identical. I think these things are gonna be, I think they're gonna be identical the entire way across. Which isn't a bad thing. That's, that's impressive, that's a full size wood screw. Identical again, except for this one. You can see whenever I push the button. Oh, now it says it's green. Whenever it was putting in the screw, it was showed that it was halfway 
that the battery was halfway gone. This thing was fully charged uh, before the video, so it seems like this battery is dying very quickly. The giant screw. Let's see if it can put this in. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's about it. This thing's kind of warm too. I mean, that's still pretty impressive though. Oh, not as far. That's like dead even. <laughs> I think that's as far as we're gonna get. I mean, it went in farther, but I mean, you had to, it really had to work for that last little bit. This one might even be able to do it if I, if I do that same tactic. No. Oh. Oh, don't give up. You can do it. Oh, oh it's just, this one back here is still just a little bit lower. These things are so close together. All right, let's try to drill a hole. Now, obviously I know these things are not meant to drill holes. This one, I mean, this one technically you could say it's meant to drill holes. This one, this is absolutely not meant to drill holes. This is a screwdriver. <laughs> but since when do we follow the rules around here? That was so easy. That was way easier than I expected. I thought I thought drilling the hole was gonna be harder than putting in a screw. Well, actually both of these are kind of showing that they're way more versatile than you than I thought. Okay. You know what? Let's uh let's drill some bigger holes. Let's try quarter inch. That should be enough of a challenge. Come on. Again, so much easier than I thought. Feels like the battery is getting significantly weaker on this one. Okay. All right. Turns out that these things are actually uh, way way better than I thought. So I know these are kind of like in two different like classes, I guess you could say. This is, this gives me a vibe that it's more for like a professional, someone who's gonna use something like this every single day. And I think this would be absolutely great for that. I mean, it's USB-C, so it takes the same charger as like just about everything else. As long as you're not an iPhone user, it takes the same charger as everything else. It seems like the battery would last a long time. I don't have a way to see where the battery's at. This one see, just gives me a vibe that it's just cheaper. Uh, I can tell the battery's already starting to die just from doing this little amount of stuff, but it still works. I just don't feel like it's uh, as good as this. So if I had to pick between the two, I would definitely go with this all day. Unless I, unless I was doing something where having a handle like this instead of like this would be you know, more beneficial, but these are both not bad. All right, last product is the Bionic Grip. This is supposed to be some type of like, essentially a wrench replacement. And you're supposed to like squeeze it and it's supposed to auto fit. Jeez, so it's just supposed to do that, I guess. Squeeze around bolt heads or whatever. So I got some bolt heads here. Now these are 9 sixteenths. So I got one one way and one the other, the bolt head and then the nut. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens. 
It's not bad. It's not a, not, not a bad experience. Well, it's not the best thing in the world. It could be better. Let's see what happens whenever you grab it off, off center. I'm gonna grab it by the points. Ooh, you you could round off a bolt so easy with these things. Ugh. I mean, do they work? Yeah, technically. Oh, I don't like that. Whenever you start getting them under some actual torque, they start looking pretty weak. Ooh, I'm so nervous that I'm that this thing's gonna slip and I'm gonna smash my knuckles against that thing right there. Oh, now it's having it's having a hard time gripping it. Once that torque is there. Oh, these things are not doing good. Once it, I don't know what this is torqued to, but it's not like, you know, this isn't crazy tight. Ugh, I can't even grip it at all. No matter how hard I squeeze, I'm gonna squeeze with both hands. Oh, no. They just have too much, too much side to side play and it just rolls it off. Chewed the whole corner off of that thing. Maybe, maybe it'll have better luck doing it with a nut. There's more for it to grip with the nut. So. No, I can, I can already see it. I can already see the teeth kind of like trying to torque and slip off. Ooh, it's just a matter of time. Oh, there it is. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we can get a little more. Oh, there it is. Oh, oh no, we got a little more. We got one more bite. Ooh, we got another. Oh, but at the expense of the nut, I mean, this is kind of like chewing it up. We got another bite. The nut is doing better. Oh. <laughs> oh, that might be might have been the last one. These teeth, they just have like I don't know how well you can see it, but whenever I move it back and forth, they just have too much play. The, the nut is doing significantly better. It's just kind of like hit or miss whether or not you can get a bite. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's shearing off. Yeah, there's just, I mean, there's just so much play in these teeth. Oh, actually, I can, I will show you what this thing will be good for. I will show you. You could do that with it, perfect for that. You could uh, look at it, you could throw it at somebody, you could, you if you had a very, very small boat, maybe you could use it as a boat anchor. That would probably be a good use for it. As far as trying to use it to like tighten anything up or fix anything, do not, do not bother. Do not waste your time. You're gonna ruin whatever you're trying to work on. That's garbage. That is all I have for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.